Well, we're going fishing. With who? I don't know. Some random guy. They've been stalking us for a while. It's a funny story because we actually thought this guy um, followed us one day and he was trying to anchor up his boat and he literally was within a half a boat length from us sliding by apologizing profusely and chad chad was kind of upset with it and i'm like chad just you gotta let it go dude you just get there's nothing we can do about it and we always thought it was this guy well last night we we were at a pool party at my house and we, i started telling the story and he was like that wasn't me i've never tried to anchor in the channel i'm like it wasn't you you had this it was the same boat and everything it wasn't him <laughs> So, uh, he's became a good friend of ours on the premise of we just thought he was stalking us, following us, but he has admitted that he's a stalker. But it's okay. It's okay. I mean, it's he's not really a stalker. He's not bad at all. So, we're going to go out. We're going to see. This is the first time Chad and I have been on the bay in three weeks. So, we're going to go out and see what happens. Um, looking forward to it. And uh, hopefully we can we can get on some fish but this guy swears that he he doesn't do well fishing wise oh, he does and they've already swear. said that I, they want me to drive the, I don't want to drive the boat just don't want to drive the boat so let's go see what we can do All right, this is what I was talking about not too long ago that um, a friend of mine, Ty Colby, taught me. Is using a net that doesn't have any kind of uh, zip ties or anything, and you can rake the baits out. As you can see, it's a massive Christmas tree, even with a quarter inch net. So doing this allows you to get those baits out relatively pretty easy. And unfortunately, it's, it's that time of year to where the bait dies off because they've spawned and we did have a massive bait die off because of the red tide but the bait has died off it's spawned and this is exactly what we're having to deal with it's always this time of year and everybody can believe i can't find any big bait well there's a reason for that because it all spawned off and it died and a lot of it died in the in the red tide so um just having an understanding you got to remember you got to fish with what the the fish are keyed in on i've caught let me see if i can pull this one out uh, hand me hand me a small bait i've hooked 120 pound tarpon on a bait that big my buddy was like well how do you want me to throw it and i'm like you don't need to throw it just drop it right down you can see the tarpon busting the bait right there literally within 10 seconds he was hooked up and everybody around us was using the big thread fins and nobody was hooking anything as the old moniker says, elephants eat peanuts. <laughs> uh, Chad made me look that one up one day, and it's right. It's a, it's a myth, but it's a neat saying. I don't know if I want to throw it. <laughs> All right, we got our bait, and um, as we showed you when you 
when you uh, gill Christmas tree a bunch of baits like that, you use that net and rake them right out and get them, get them out so it gets them out quick instead of trying to shake, 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 shake and you get scales all over yourself. <laughs> it's all Chad's fault. Chad, what's the plan, man? Go catch fish. So, since this is Brian's boat, is it Brian's spots? That didn't work out so well that, last That week. sucked on last Sunday. All right, we've got what we've got is a very slow outgoing tide. It hasn't changed to come in yet. So we're going to go and chum and see if we can't get snapper. It was funny because I was throwing dead bait off the back of the boat at the bridge and there was snapper everywhere. So everywhere, we're going to we're going to see what we can find. Everywhere. You are having fun? <laughs> everywhere. Dude, you know what though? What's nice about this and what's nice about having friends like Brian that um, he's allowing us to come out and go fishing with them. And we're, we're getting a lot of invites, which we really appreciate. But this is going to allow me to use a different machine and show everybody what this machine, what these machines look like, because he's, he's got three machines. He's obsessed with Lorance. But he's got three machines, so he's got one on side imaging, one on down imaging, and we have another one just on regular sonar. So today I'm gonna to talk about how to read a Lorance. I've talked about how to read a Garmin in the past, but it's that's what's gonna be neat about getting on other people's boats is, is uh, being able to use different machines and see how different machines work. All right, folks, again, it's kind of the same thing with with Brian's instrumentation when it comes to looking off the side of the channel. You can see right here where there's a there's a ledge there and you're, I'm about to see another ledge coming up here in just a second. Pretty pronounced ledge right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and mark this for him we might even come back and fish it, but there's a lot of bait fish out on the uh, out on the channel today, so it might make it a little bit more difficult. All right, folks, what we've done is we moved up. We killed a batter. <laughs> Jeez, that's all right. <laughs> we moved up and we're chumming with dead bait. We've got the the snapper up in the water column, but we're catching grouper. Go figure. Um, but this tide's relatively pretty slow. What we've done is we're we're off the ledge, we're fishing the Port Manatee Channel, nothing to hide. Um, so we're off in 40, 40 feet, 41 feet of water. And we're working and we're coming up the, up, the, uh, up the ledge. So we're able to get those fish away from the ledge. And we're just chumming and free lining and using slacker jigs. So using free, uh, uh, four out hook, our four out hook, and then slacker jigs. The slacker jigs, they're having to pitch back just a little bit more because the the ledge is a little far off with the regular hook i can drop it right off the back here and let it go into the perfect spot chad what what happened i lost my bait you didn't get a fish no no bite it fell off on the way up. oh my god so anyway let's see what we can do there's a keeper Spit him up, dude. What? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, so close. <laughs> oh, well. I was really going to start bragging and say, man, I'm the only one putting fish in the box. Oh, my God. Brian's got one. <laughs> So Brian, I do know how to do this. Are you starting to get a hang of it now? Slowly. Slowly. It's a different feel, definitely. It's a whole different attitude and feel and attitude being the key word. Yeah. So what what are you using? Uh, slacker. Eight ounce slacker. Eight ounce slacker. Circle hook. 
Circle hook. Real. And don't jerk. You, yeah. Real. Don't jerk. Don't be a jerk. And he did that like four times in a row. Setting hook like Roland Martin. <laughs> he thought he was bass fishing. I'm like, Brian, if you're going to catch these fish, you just got to start reeling. And he did it on that one and he caught the fish. That's the important thing about circle hooks. You just have to start reeling. Don't set the hook. Because the way that hook comes through the fish's mouth when you tighten up on it, it's meant to turn and grab the edge of the corner of the mouth. But if you if you set the hook, you're just going to rip it right out of the fish's mouth. God, it's hot out here. <laughs> <laughs> they were Brian was complaining. Oh, it's somebody needs to turn on the fan. And I said, I made a comment. I, it's I not, was not complaining. <laughs> <laughs> he was complaining and it's it is it's warm but i'm used to it because i'm out in the warehouse these two pansies whoop, chad acts like he's got one <laughs> that's all it is chad sucks. academy award for acting on that one <laughs> well i don't know about that <laughs> well it looked like a bite it looked like a bite it looked like a bite you always said when in doubt that's very true because earlier today brian i was watching his pole and brian's pole would go boom, 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 and he he was just sitting there and i'm like brian you're like four days late at this point oh. yeah i know i i i really uh oh <laughs> got the bait. It didn't get the hook it, it's like poker you have to figure out what the fish is going to do before you huh. can catch them that's no. all I was doing. No, it's like if you don't tie a very good knot, you're going to lose them every time. Well, that too. Well, that's on you for, that is on me. for not tying class. All right, I need to get back to fishing because neither one of these, well, he just caught a fish, so I got yeah, a hand. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I got something to the boat, sir. I'm leaving that line out. I'm not sticking my head in there anymore. <laughs> What's the matter, Chad? That net stinks. What you using, Chad? What kind of fluorocarbon? 30? The 20's right there on the top. <laughs> I've been using 30 all day. <laughs> really? Yeah, I didn't even look. No wonder why you're not catching any fish. <laughs> and he handed me my leader, so I bet I'm using 30. You probably are. I see how y'all are. There well, normally I don't have to look because all we have on the boat is 20. I swear to God, I end up having to drive the boat, um, find the fish, catch the bait fish. Is this 20? Yeah. Yes. Um, put fish in the cooler. I'm talking a lot of smack for somebody that ain't put us on any fish today. <laughs> I'm catching fish. I don't know about you. Fish to cooperate. Anyway, let's get back to fishing. Okay. Brian, you want to know how to get them to cut? Start dropping the F-bomb. <laughs> <laughs> GoPro, start, stop recording. <laughs> <laughs> Say the F-bomb. <laughs> Uh, is that one of your special knots again, Chad? No, that was broke off. That was in the lid. Okay. Like you said, it's, it's the loop. Don't set Chad. the hook. God. And I fish with circle hooks too. Obviously you don't. Obviously I don't, I know. <laughs> or if I do, you obviously fish them wrong completely. <laughs> I understand all the words that were getting ready to be said when I said that comment. There you go. Look at that giant. <laughs> Better than what Chad's catching. I agree. <laughs> Get him on the Stewie? Yeah. Stewie on a live bait? Nope. <laughs> small stewie now see that's exactly what I'm looking for is I've, I've seen this mark here boom saved it and there's another one there so now I know that we have a massive pretty decent drop-off up here so I'm gonna get the boat positioned 
All right, folks, as you can see, we're, we're fishing over some hard bottom. The tide has kind of picked up a little bit this afternoon. Outgoing tide's supposed to really dump out. So we're ending the day. We caught some fish, we had fun, showed Brian some new spots, kind of gave him a better understanding of his side imaging and what he's looking for. And hopefully we were able to teach you something about that. Um, thought I had a keeper gag, but I didn't, but I'm the only one that put keeper fish in the boat. Thank you very much. Yeah, peanut, peanut gallery's quiet. <laughs> I thought Chad put one in. No. I threw one overboard. <laughs> yeah, you did. You so, did. There. Yeah. But anyway, it was a fun day in the water. Um, did you take lots of sunrise pictures? Because we'll probably need them. <laughs> <laughs> I got enough fish stuff to make it look good. Uh oh. Brian is hooked up on the bottom. But we're ending it. Chad and I have got to go to Lakeland for a party. The rock broke me off. The rock broke them off. But anyway, we again, we want to say thank you to all the support, all the people out there that watch the show. Thank you so much. Blowfish eating it. Puffer. Puffer. So uh, we just want to th say thank you for that. We really appreciate the support. Uh, like I said, our cast nets are coming in in the, probably the next week, week and a half, so be prepared for that. If you have subscribed to our website, you will get an email. You'll be first ones to get an email telling you that we have these in stock. I always email our subscribers to our website first on anything that we release or anything new that comes out. I always get with them first. so. They get first stab at it because it's just my way of saying thank you. Chad's up there going, woo, the cast nets. <laughs> We've got some dead bait in there. <laughs> uh, hold on a minute. Let me, oh, I thought you were. I'm going to turn off the trolling motor. But then again, I want to say thank you to uh, Brian for letting us use his boat, him being part of the show. He's leaving it on the lift. And uh, so it works out great for both of us right that's right chad's up there blah 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 but anyway thank you again if you're looking for any jigs or anything else like that you can go to tampabayfishingchannel.com and grab some of our jigs and things like that fish more catch more and we'll see you on the flip side